as Father Willie was uh, proclaiming the antiphon for the gospel, I was thinking to myself, what light and what salt has God given us to share with others today? It's an individual question for each of us, but I think the, the main idea is that each one of us has salt and light that we're meant to bring to others. Well, at times we look around and we see people who inspire us, people who show incredible courage, something beyond we can ever even imagine ourselves possessing. And the natural question is, how do they do it? In today's first reading, we get a glimpse into one woman's story, a woman who was so convinced that she was out of options that she was preparing for her and her son to die. Perhaps you or a family member has reached a level approaching desperation of somewhere near this degree. Until yesterday, every time I read this passage, I had a tendency to run right by Elijah's words to the woman where he says, do not be afraid. And I thought I knew what that meant. But this time, for some reason, I wondered, what is he really talking about? You see, the, the woman isn't afraid to turn over her last bit of food to Elijah because she already knows and expects that she's going to die. So it can't be about solely about that food. Instead, I believe that Elijah is encouraging her to dare to have hope that she and her son might live, to place her trust in God. Elijah wants her to have courage, to have courage that we all need, to have hope that God is with us. Going back to times when you or a loved one has struggled mightily, have you ever found yourself guarding against this having hope, fearful that you could be disappointed? I think that's why, I think rather that this is what the scriptural passage captures, the essence of trusting in God when we're close to, or even in line, at the line, or thrown in that proverbial towel. For when we or anyone reaches this point, God is so close to us. In this case, he has sent the prophet Elijah, who has his own needs. He's hungry, and he needs a place to stay. But he sent him so this woman, her son, and we can see what God can do when life is even at the darkest times. In the gospel, the disciples are being given a pep talk. And when you look at these two passages together, we hear the call from Jesus to be the Elijahs for our family and our friends and really anyone that we come into contact with. Every one of us who has received the Holy Spirit, the grace of God, is meant to be that salt and light to those in need at times when we are struggling, at times when we are hungry in some way too. Jesus gives this message right after he gives the Sermon on the Mount, as we know the Beatitudes. And today, as we hear God's call to dare to have hope, let us take a few minutes to read prayerfully, or I'd even say, even better, to read aloud the Beatitudes. When we do, we will recognize our reason for hope, our way of living, and how we too can bring salt and light into the lives of those most in need. May God bless you and your families on this holy day as we pray for the courage to have hope as we seek to be salt and light to those most in need.